So it's Jay Kim at the Oregon Surf Perch Fishing Club. It's Monday, February 5th at about 12.50, so 10 to 1. Uh, low tide is at two hours. It's about a 0.7 low tide, and I'm coming about at a two foot tide. So there's not much drop in the next two hours. Uh, fishing conditions are actually pretty nice. It's like 48 degrees, and unlike yesterday, there's no wind. So uh, it's really nice here. Um, it's a little chilly, but man, the wind yesterday was brutal at Lincoln City. So I'm back here at Wade Creek, and catching conditions look decent. Uh, this was a last minute decision on my part because it's been raining all morning and I didn't want to come out when it was too wet. So uh, I was here about two weeks ago with Nick Armstrong and I know there's a sandbar out there that I'm hoping I can get to. So I'm gonna go walk down directly there to see if I can get on that sandbar. Because if I can get there, man, the waves look really good there. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but see all the shallow area here before the crashing waves. So uh, I'm trying to bypass all this. I have mild expectations. My last three trips here at Wade, I've at least caught one red tail. And one day, I think I got seven or eight fish. So let's we'll see how it goes. So one of the other good things about coming at a low tide is that you can look at the beach structure uh, for when you come at high tide. But I don't know if you see this uh, stream of water here, it's dark green, but that's a trough. So it's really shallow now and it prevents me from casting to waves way out there. But at high tide, you're very close to those cliffs. And so then you'd be casting into this trough. So at high tide, uh, right around where these trees are, you know, this looks like a pretty decent area. Okay, so I'm trying to go around the trough because I don't want to wade through it. And I'm trying to get out to that sandbar right there. Okay, I tried to do a shortcut through the trough, but uh, there's some deep holes there. So I'm gonna play it safe and just walk around the entire trough. I see an area up there uh, where it's really shallow so I can get to the sandbar. But man, that sandbar looks really optimal for catching conditions. So my expectations have just gone way up. You know, so that's the advantage of coming to the same beach all the time and frequently, is that if you know the beach structure, then you can kind of go directly to where you think you're gonna get action right away. But after getting onto the sandbar, man, I'm right next to the crashing waves. So again, I have high expectations right now. Actually, the other thing I forgot to mention is that Swell energy is only like 360 today, so it should be pretty calm. So I'm able to get really close to the crashing waves, but man, this water looks really optimal for uh, action. Okay, second cast. Got a bite? I'm pretty sure this is a red tail. It's fighting pretty decently. Well, what a great way to start. So this will be four times in a row at Wade where I at least got one fish. Now I can still feel it tugging. Oh, I just lost. Unless it's coming in with the waves. But man, it went really slack. Yeah, I think I lost it. Whoa! Oh no, I still got it. I can feel it tugging now. Yep, here it is. Top. Top natural. What a way to start. I'm a happy camper. So that's one of the reasons I came back to Wade. And again, I hit the sandbar that Nick Armstrong and I were at. So it's paying off already. This is a 12 inch, 12 inches. Yep. Uh, let's let the waves come in. I don't want to get too close. Okay. Go make some little fishies. So the other interesting thing is that even though I got it on the top natural, my bottom natural is gone. So I must have had another bite that I didn't realize. So this is probably one of the best fishing condition days I've had in a while. Uh, again, it's a little chilly, but there's no wind. And I tell you, I'm right next to the breaking waves. So, you know, I don't often get this opportunity. So this is awesome today. This is cast four, nothing on three, but I'm getting a bite. I don't know if you can see my rod. I'm still getting a bite. Kind of feels like a red tail. Nope, missed it. So out of four casts, two bites. So that's a good sign. But, oh, I'm still getting it. I don't think I have it though. I'm still getting the bite. 
see if I got it. Oh, I think I got something. So this would be, if I got, oh, I don't know. Uh, I can see something coming on the surface. This would be two fish and four casts. Yeah, it looks like a red tail. And it's top natural again. Okay, so two red tails and four casts. I think I've been here like six or seven minutes. So uh, this one didn't fight as well, but it's a decent size. It's definitely taco, taco size. Okay, so it is, yeah, it's 12 and a quarter, so it's actually bigger than my last one. Okay, two fish, 12 and a quarter and 12. So this is cast five, no action on this one yet, but I just wanted to comment on how great catching conditions are. I mean, the breaking waves are just right in front of me and it's really deep and dark green. So uh, I don't know if that's gonna translate into more action, but I haven't been facing these kind of catching conditions in a while where they're right in front of me. This is cast six. I'm getting bites. I don't know if you can see my rod. Oh, do I have it? Sure got loose. Yep, got it. So it's funny. Got fish on two, four, and six. Still like another red tail. So it's an even cast day where I'm getting fish. So nothing on one, three, and five. And three bites on two, four, and six with three fish. Yeah, another red tail and it's on the bottom natural so all my fish have been on natural so far and again this looks like about a 11 or 12 inch again Let's see it's uh yeah a little short of 12 and a half it's like 12 and 3 eighths at number four i think this is cast nine this is definitely another red oh i think i lost and i can't tell maybe it's coming i can still feel it jerking so this would be fish four. This one feels decent. Let the waves bring it in. Oh, it's a double. First double of 2024 for me. So that's fish four and five. And I went to three naturals too, since I had gotten all my fish on naturals. Big one, big one is 11 and a half. Not gonna measure the small one. I wanna get it back in the water. Get away, I don't know if you see my rod. Got it. Oh, maybe not. No, oh, lost it. No, I think I still might have it. So, it's a small one though, but it is one. But this would be fish six. That thing hit right away. As soon as my, as soon as my rig hit the water, uh, I got a bite. This might be a silver. Yep, it's a silver top natural. So that was the first cast where I got a bite right away. All my other casts and my fish, I've had to let it sit down there a long time before I got fish in a bite. Getting another bite. So I got it. Nope, missed it. Can't tell. If it is, that's tiny again. Yeah, it feels a little heavier now. So this would be back-to-back -back fish. Oh, it is a, it's a tiny red tail. Very tiny. So this would be fish seven. And six red tails. The bite right off the bat. Oh, do I got it? Yeah, I think I still got it. It's another dink though. But this would be three fish back-to-back. -back. Three dinks. Silver, red tail. And not sure what this one is. Felt like a red tail bite, but if it is, that's a real tiny one. So this would be fish, what, eight? Can't tell. Yeah, another dink red tail. It's almost like the same exact one I got last time. It's funny, so even though the fish are all small right now, it seems like action's picking up because I'm not having to wait hardly any time to get a bite, whereas the uh, Three 12 inches I got, man, my bait had to sit down there a long time. So we'll see how it goes. It's starting to rain though, so I think I'm getting close to my limit here. I'm a pretty happy camper with what I got. I forgot I can't cut through the trough. Although it is slower tide. So if you come to Wade Creek, uh, these are the trees and this is the sandbar, but you gotta walk all the way around to get past this trough here. 
So this trough is pretty big and it gets wider as you get towards the parking lot. And then if you get on that sandbar at low tide, man, catching conditions were awesome because the crashing waves were right there. All right, so no action on the last three casts. And just before that, there was a short rain shower storm and my hoodie is a little wet. And with the breeze picking up a little bit, I'm cold. So I am decided to call it quits. Been here about an hour and five minutes. I'm guessing about 15 casts. I want to say eight fish, seven red tails, but uh, I think three or four were real small dinks. Got my first double of 2024, so I'm happy. I uh, got three 12 inches, over 12 inches, and then they all went smaller from that time on. And I did get an 11 and a half, but the rest of them were all small. But man, what an awesome way to spend the day. And I'm sure glad I forced myself to come out today on the spur of the moment decision. But I definitely want to come back to Wade Creek at low tide and hit that sandbar. Okay, that's it for today. I don't know when I'm coming back out because uh, conditions look kind of gnarly. <laughs>